anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and start priming my skin with the Nivea Men's Shave Balm. I've been using this stuff for probably like about two months. And you want to rub it in your skin until you start feeling it get a little bit more tackier to like rub on your face. I started doing this about two months ago whenever Nikki Tutorials had done it in her video. And I love the way it makes my makeup stay. It lasts all day long. Next I'm going to go ahead and fill in my pores. I use the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer. I kind of alternate between this one and the Tarte one and also the Baby Skin one from the drugstore. I feel like they all pretty much do the same thing. Um, it's just the Makeup Forever one kind of prevents me from getting like those smile lines throughout the day. So I just really like this one. And all I do is just mainly put it around my nose area because that's where my pores are larger. And I kind of like press it in the skin and kind of swipe barely. Not too much. I don't want to remove the product. I haven't actually been wearing foundation. I've only been like wearing concealer bronzer highlighter and just throw on some lashes and I would be good to go um, but for the sake of the video I'll just go ahead and put a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and use the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one I have two shades because I can't find my right shade so the colors that I mix together is actually the lightest one which is 01 and then almost the darkest one which is 06 and I just mix them together pretty evenly and it gets my right shade and I'm only going to do like half a pump of each one since this is a full coverage foundation. I really like it a lot. Um, my favorite foundation used to be that L'Oreal True Match one. Um, I never thought that I would like anything else. I just really love how this foundation sets. It's so nice. And it doesn't clog my pores. I usually only wear concealer. Just because since it's so hot, I feel like whenever I wear foundation, it feels like my face is like melting off. And I just blend it down a little bit. That way there's no difference. Since my face is lighter than my neck. Next I'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eye circles. Um, I I've been using the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. It has like a pink or a peach tint to it. So it kind of counteracts with the darkness I have under here. I really like it. Um... It's really tacky, so you have to have a light hand with it. So I'll go in, in with my finger, and I bring it all in my inner corner. So I tend to get a little bit of darkness there. And then I'll blend it out with a beauty blender, just in case I put a little bit too much. Now I'm going to go ahead and use concealer. I'm going to put the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. I also feel like whenever I use that brightening corrector, I don't have to use as much concealer also. So I'll put a little bit under my eyes. Not too much because I actually go in with the shade a little bit lighter. just to brighten it up a little bit more and I usually go around my corners of my lip because that's where I tend to get a little bit of darkness and just blend it all out I love using beauty blenders, especially in the summertime, because my skin is so dry. 
I just feel like it refreshes my face. <laughs> And gets a lot of the excess product that, in case I had a heavy hand. And then I just blend a little bit on my eyelids. I also haven't been putting any eyeshadow either. Just because, I don't know, I just don't want to do the most. I'm going to go in with the shade Light Neutral. It's just a little bit lighter than what I put on before. And I put very little. Like, I'll just do, like, two stripes. And then just a little bit right here because I tend to get some darkness there. And then just blend it out. Okay, I'm not going to go ahead and set my under eyes yet, uh, just because I've been using cream bronzers. I've been going back and forth from the Soleil Tan de Chanel, and then this Paracone, Paracone MD No Bronzer Bronzer. Um, I just alternate between them. I just, I like them both. Um, I probably had the Chanel one for like almost two years now, and I think this one I've had for about a year. It's pretty intense, so... All I do is about three drops. And then you can go in with any synthetic brush. I'm using the Sigma F84. And then you could just go ahead and just start blending it in. I bring it up around my eye area. The color is not really coming up too well on camera. Um, since it does have SPF 30, so it really doesn't do good like in photography and all that stuff. But in person, it's a really, really nice bronzing color. Don't you hate I hate when that happens whenever I like film or take pictures whatever um I do it doesn't look the same as it does in person as it does in the photos uh, it's just irritating and don't worry if you think like you're starting to see like a st distinct line or anything like that um because what I usually do is I'll go in with a beauty blender like around the area that way it blends more seamlessly let me know if you guys like these talk through videos this is my first one and I love watching them as you could tell I have my computer on my vanity because I like to just watch videos whenever I'm getting ready or blogs now I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and then just go all the way around it and if you feel like you overdid it you can always go back in with your concealer and like put more in the middle area or where under your eyes wherever you feel like you just overdid it and you brought it up too high and I'm not gonna go ahead and set my under eyes yet still I'm gonna go ahead and do a cream highlighter I recently bought the cover FX custom enhancer drops I got the shade Sunlight, but I really, after I used it, I really wanted to get the shade Celestial, which is the lighter one. Whenever I went back to go get it, it was completely sold out. So, I had to order it online. I plan on doing, like, a collective haul. There's just a lot of things that I've been getting that are new. This thing uh, is really intense. And sometimes, like, on just a normal day, whenever I don't wear eyeshadow... I'll just go ahead and put this on my cheeks and not even set it with like a highlighter, like a powder. And it just, it does it completely for me. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and place it on the high point. You can already tell like how intense this highlighter is. It's so amazing. And I've always wanted to have that highlight like where they say that you glow from within and stuff and I never felt like I could do that with the powder highlighter. I don't know. I just feel like you could see it and there was just no way to, you know, hide it. So for the sake of the video, I am going to put a little bit of powder highlighter over this just so you can fully see like how intense this really gets. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer under my eyes. I use the Beauty Blender too for this. Um, usually I don't. I'll use like just a regular brush, but I'm telling you since it has been so hot, as much hydration that I can get with the Beauty Blender, I'm going to take advantage of it. And I also like putting it with the Beauty Blender because I feel like it really pushes it in your skin. So at this point, you can go ahead and actually set like all your creams. Um, on a typical day, I don't set like my bronzer um, or put anything like on top of the highlighter. Usually I'll do this and just put on some lashes, fix up my brows and just head out the door. But I'm just going to go ahead and set everything that way you guys can get the feel of it. Or even if you guys have oily skin um, and you just have to set it, you can also go ahead and see how that turns out also. To set the bronzer, I usually alternate between this one and Matt Give Me Sun. Um, this one is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. It smells so good, but it really like took the plunge just for me to get it because it was like 10 bucks or something like that. And I don't know, I just feel like it's kind of expensive for a drugstore bronzer. And I just like lightly dust a little bit, mainly focus on the back part where I want it to be the most dark and then like go forward. Okay, so for the highlighter, I'm going to use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I probably had this for almost a year now, and I feel like this is the only highlighter that is so intense where you don't even have to use Fix Plus just to make it more intense. And I've tried a lot of highlighters. I've always, I'm always looking for the next best highlighter, I feel like. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start on uh, my eyeshadow. I'm not going to do anything crazy just because, like I said, I haven't been wearing any eyeshadow at all the past, you know, few weeks. I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelids with just the translucent powder. I've been using the RCMA No Color Powder. I really like that. Um, just because I've been using the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder, but I felt like it's so drying under my eyes that I just really didn't care for using it, you know? Like if I have dry skin, I don't want to make it more dry, but I mean, I still use it. I think I'll, I'll use that one more in like the colder months because in the summertime, I just really I have to be a little bit more high maintenance on my face during the summertime because my skin is so dry. And then if I wear like anything that's drying, it literally kills my face. For example, um, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Everybody raves about it. Everybody talks about it, how amazing it is, and how it's like a dupe for like a high-end foundation, how it's really good. And I really, really wanted to try it because it looks so pretty on everybody that wears it. But because it's a matte foundation, I can't. Like, I bought it one time just to see because I was like, what's well, drugstore? It can't be that matte. That shiz is intense. I went to work at 7 in the morning. And so whenever I had put it on, I got off for lunch at like 12. Yeah, around 12 o'clock. So it was on my face for probably about like 4 hours or so literally my face was hurting like at about 10 o'clock like it was wanting to it just about to come off it was so matte that it was settling in every single fine line I had I looked like 
an older woman. I, my skin looked so bad. I'm going ahead and putting that white powder like in the inner, in the inner corner um, just to like brighten it up. I tried getting my shade for the Pro Max, which is the one that they recently came out with. You guys, literally I had to go to like three different Walmarts to try to find it because it wasn't sold online anymore at Walmart. Whenever I finally found a Walmart that had it, I literally spent so much time like just sitting there and trying to color like color match myself because I don't know I just felt like it was more of a red undertone I'm gonna use the Morphe M513 and use it as like my crease transition um, I'm gonna use the Sephora color swatch this thing is like a lifesaver if you do makeup on the side and you're constantly like doing clients one after another this thing is amazing like it just takes off whatever is on your brush i think i'm gonna go in with this bright yellow yellowy color um it kind of reminds me of makeup geek chickadee and i just focus it mainly in my crease area and i kind of bring it up a little bit high like a little bit of Above my crease only because like whenever I wear lashes I just want to be able to see it you can add as much as you like okay and then now I think I'm gonna go in with like these two colors right here just kind of like mix them together yeah I'm gonna use it Morphe M433 brush I love this brush like I love it I think I'm gonna get like a backup because I use this all the time it just really gets into that like crease area and it blends it so nicely and then I'm gonna go back in with that um, M513 with that chickadee looking color and just blend right on top And I feel like that white is kind of like too intense. So, instead of using that white from that Kat Von D eye palette, I'm going to go ahead and use like this one right here. Color. I don't know. I just like the way that one looks. It was like an all over lid color. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on some false lashes. Um, I'm going to coat my mascara. I'm going to coat my eyelashes with the L'Oreal Luminous Original Black Mascara. Um, I really like this one, and it's from the drugstore. I just feel like it doesn't like make my eyelashes fall out whenever I take off my makeup, and it's not too clumpy and it doesn't run and transfer to my foundation throughout the day for lashes I'm going to be using the velour ones in the style winging if you guys have been a follower of mine for quite some time you guys know these lashes are like my signature lash like these are my favorite ones and I've already repurchased them so many times. I just mainly focus like on the outer part. And then once I like connect it to the outside. I'll just start connecting it off. I've been like on the hunt. You know uh, looking at different companies and trying to just put you know more of a variety on my channel because using the same stuff kind of gets like boring you're like okay like you've already used that let's use something else so yeah I'm just trying to like use different things branch out so I'm gonna go ahead and 
just put some black like right here on the inner part just to connect it and make it look more natural natural and I'm using the Maybelline eye studio in black is black I love it so much if you guys have a favorite gel liner let me know because I love to try out new ones I've tried the NYC one and I just nothing can seem to compare to this one I really don't care for a liquid like the liquid liner I just feel like I don't know I just feel like I have more control with the gel one if that makes sense so I'm going to use those two orange colors from the 350 palette. I really want to get the matte one, but I mean, if I don't use this one as much, I don't know. I don't know how that will work for me. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on my lower lash line. Um, I'm using the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I like this because I just feel like it doesn't transfer on under my eyes but before I do that I want to go ahead and set my face just because I feel like whenever I do put this on and then I spray this it does transfer so we're just gonna go ahead and avoid that and just I'm gonna use the Smashbox photo finish primer water now I'm gonna go ahead and coat my lashes I put a lot of time into this notice that if I tend to go really fast like I can kind of smear it up without intending to for lips you guys i have been using the kylie cosmetics non-stop like literally whenever her stuff came out i was like you know what i'm not even gonna do it because people are gonna hype up even if it sucks then People are going to talk about it because it's Kylie Cosmetics. It's the Kardashian and Jenners and blah, blah, blah. And so after people talking about it and the colors and like more colors you started coming out with, I was like, you know what? I really want to try it. Everybody's talking about it. You know, I just want to try it for myself and I'm hooked. If you get anything from her line, whether if you're like skeptical about buying the, you know, the liquid lipsticks or the metals or all that stuff, like get the glosses. The glosses are amazing. I love them so much. After I bought one, which was literally the middle shade one, I went and bought like the other two. Like I was like, you know what, if I love this, I'm going to love the other two. So I went and I got all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with um, Exposed. I really love this color. And I just feel like this color literally is so universal. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. Let me know if you guys like these talk through get ready with me's. Um, I feel like they're more time consuming, but I feel like a lot more people like them. So just let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. I plan on doing a giveaway pretty soon on my channel as well as like like this being connected with Instagram and then doing another giveaway like just on Facebook alone. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all my social media down below so you guys can make sure to follow me so you guys know whenever I do the giveaway so you can enter. Um, this is just like, you know, casual get ready with me. I wasn't doing anything dramatic. Like I said, I haven't even been wearing eyeshadow. So this was just to sit down and talk with you guys because I've missed it so much. And I finally had time to sit down and film a video for you guys. So let me know what you guys want to see next. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you all in my next video.